Hi everyone, this is Grace. I hope you have been well. Um, I got my first pocket letter, you guys. This is the first entry, and I cannot believe how quickly I received this. Um, this is the first entry from my Easter giveaway, or the Easter challenge giveaway. So, Heather, this is yours. I did receive it. Thank you so much. And I have to confess, um, the past two days actually were a little rough, and so when I saw this in my P.O. box... It was such a nice surprise. Um, you can kind of say it was a bomb to a hurting soul, if you will, but um, just so nice. And so what was kind of funny, though, is I was expecting a um, pocket letter actually to arrive from the UK. And so imagine my shock when I'm looking at the return address and I'm like, Heather, I'm like, do I know a Heather? <laughs> And then it dawned on me that this is the very first entry to the Easter Challenge giveaway. So Heather, before I even open it, thank you so much. And I can now say I understand now the appeal of the pocket letter, ladies, because this has been in my bag now for the past four or five hours. And I was so excited. And you know that kind of prolonging of the anticipation before you open something and actually see inside. So on Saturdays, I'm at church and I teach my um, some of the church kids SAT, which is the entrance exam to, you know, college. So all during lessons, they were like, oh, you have a pocket letter. So actually, one of them is outside waiting for a ride um, while I film this. So let's go ahead and get started. Fear not, the class is now officially over. So... All right, let me go ahead and open it and share with you this first entry. All right, so you guys, I saw this and I almost squealed out loud because I opened the envelope from the side here and oh, it's so pretty, the satin ribbon and this nice little, um, yeah, washy lining. Anyway, let me go ahead and share with you um, the first entry. Oh, this is so exciting. Thank you so much, Heather. I am one of those people. I take joy in the simple things in life, certainly. And um, after a really rough week, this is definitely one of those treats. Oh my gosh, you guys. She took one of the wooden um, cutouts and she looped it here. I think if I ever did a pocket letter, I'll have to keep this in mind to remember to do something like that too, like a little charm. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. Can you all see this? This is so cute. Heather, this is such a wonderful, pretty pocket letter. Okay, so let's um, go through. She's actually got two different types of ribbon. So one is the um, big blue, baby blue satin, and then she's got a paler one that is smaller or thinner, and that's looped to the um, rabbit cutout. And then, oh, she, um, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, she has these flat back pearls. <gasps> Cute little washi here and then the little rabbit. Oh, and you guys, the, the design is kind of this vintage rabbit. And then she laced this with some fabric um, lace here. I don't know if it's fabric washi, but I don't want to mess with it in case I tear it. And then... Um, what looks like Bambi or a little deer with um, blue, a bird, and then two little rabbits. Oh, and this is really nice, you guys. She has a flower embellishment with a little pearl. Oh, so pretty. I do love this design. So she's got the four here, and then she's got the four here. And then the center one, of course, is, oh, it pops up. So she has these kind of... Um, I don't know. I don't think these are like quail eggs, or are they? But anyway, these pop up, and then she has these really um, pretty glittery and metallic-y looking uh, flowers. Oh, so pretty. And I do love this design detailing. Oh, Heather, this is so pretty. All right, so everyone ready? You guys ready for the back? And I do love the how she lined this with the washi. All right, I have not seen it too, so. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so, um, I don't know if I ever shared with you guys, but I love rabbits. And these are the hipster rabbits. So I think this was the sticker um, 
from, I saw this pack, I think, when I was at Michael's, or one of you guys hauling it. Was it Nina Marie who had hauled these little hipster bunnies? I now have my own set. Thank you so much, Heather. Oh, these are so cute. I have a thing for bunnies. I don't know if I mentioned this. Oh, and then these are wooden um, heart buttons. Oh, uh, I will say I don't plan on using these, except for maybe the tea. <laughs> Um, I'll leave these as is and I'll put the tea pack back because I'm hoping to um, keep this in a specially designed binder just for all of my wash um, pocket letters that I receive from you guys. So, Oh, and then look guys, I like foxes too and it actually reminds me of my little Bentley. He's a Pomeranian who looks a little bit like a fox. And so I know I'm sure Hecker Doodle, um, this is a fox ride up Hecker Doodle's alley. Um, hold on. I think there is a little paper clip. Hold on. All right. I didn't want to break the pocket letters. So um, this is a little fox and it's been affixed to some felt. Such a cute little fox. And then this, too cute. That's so nice. So I think she super glued this, right? Or did you hot glue gun it? Um, on It looks like she hot glue gunned it. But onto this really nice blue metallic um, paper clip. And I don't know about you guys, this I will be using. And I'm so tempted to use these. Because I use paper clips actually um, in my line of work. You know, collecting students' quizzes and papers and all of that stuff. So, anyway, that was in here. And then she included in this little pack the herbal tea, honey bush, mandarin, and orange. Naturally caffeine-free. So, this will be really nice for me to try out tonight. And then, oh, these are embellishment stickers. Oh, And then this one, too. Very pretty. And I think this one is just part of the design. There's a note here that I'm going to read off camera and then oh this must be the washi sample okay i'll have to pause and show you this okay hold on all right hopefully my pausing and <laughs> unpausing doesn't disorient some of you guys but i left the little butterfly one but they're foam stickers isn't this adorable you guys so there's the little bumblebee and then the little butterfly. And then this one actually was here and I took that out while I, while I paused it. And it's so nicely decorated, you guys. So she made this envelope and then these are the sample washies. And so, oh, this is perfect. I don't think I have this washi um, for Easter. Oh, definitely spring. Thank you so much, Heather. So this is gonna be fun. For me to definitely use. Actually, I think, should I use it? Should I not? Should I leave it here just for prosperity's sake? Then, well, I'll let you guys know. But anyway, so, and then this is the letter. So she, oh, and you know what? She put stickers. Do you, do you guys see how she stuck stickers on here? N-O-T-E. And so I'll read this later. Thank you so much, Heather. This is the first entry, and I will say I was a little nervous because I'd never done a challenge like this before. And so, you know, I see some of my YouTube friends, you know, holding these challenges, and I thought, oh, I wonder if anyone's going to enter. And I remember Sarah Kay was like, don't worry, I'm sure other people will enter, and I wasn't sure. So, Heather, you totally made my day after a long two days of dealing with something and um, this was so much fun and it's so pretty oh my gosh you guys so i am looking forward to of course reading this note and this will be the first entry in my little binder i am planning on um having a binder just for the pocket letters from you guys or signs or i think the other option i said was cards so, um, but yes, Heather, first entry entered. Very nice. And I will start to write your name. Um, I think pocket letters are four names. So I'll put um, your name on four little slips of paper and then put into a little raffle um, container that I will hold on to until right before Easter. So guys, I'm going to give you one last look. This is so pretty. All right. Uh, all right.
I don't know what else to say. This is such a nice, nice way to round out the week. So thank you very much, Heather. And I hope that this video brought a smile to all of you guys as well. Um, have a great weekend, everyone. And I will hopefully be back with more entries. Take care. Bye.